Hello, second grade. Welcome to day 33, lesson three of this module. Our learning target for today. I can answer questions about a text. Read with me. I can answer questions about a text. Today, you will reread Hummingbird's Small and Special and answer questions about the text. You will also discuss, write, and draw your responses in your journal. For today, you will need the text, Hummingbird, Small and Special, Part 2, Page 3 of your Helping Pollinators Journal, a pencil, and the pause button. Let's get ready to read the text, Hummingbird, Small and, Spe Small and Special, one more time. Remember, you can read with a family member, caregiver, a friend, or listen to me read the text. Here we go. Hummingbirds, small and special. Hummingbirds are very special for many reasons. For one, they are very, very small. The smallest kind of hummingbird weighs less than two grams. That's less than half the weight of a sheet of paper. Hummingbirds are also special for the way they fly. They are the only birds that can hover. That means they can stay in one place while flying. Plus, they can fly backwards and even upside down. All of that flying is supported by a hummingbird's wings. These birds normally beat their wings up to 70 times per second. They can beat their wings much faster when they dive quickly. How does a hummingbird get all the energy it needs to beat its wings and fly? It gets energy from the food it eats. Hummingbirds get a lot of their food from flowers. They drink nectar from flowers using their long, thin beaks and tube-like tongues. When hummingbirds get their food from a flower, they also help the flower. How? By pollinating it. When hummingbirds put their beak into a tube-like flower, some of the flower's pollen can get on them. Then, when they go to sip nectar from another flower, they move the pollen to that new flower. If the pollen lands in the right place in the flower, the plant will grow new seeds. So, Hummingbirds help lots of plants survive and grow. These birds are truly special. Let's think about the text. What are the hummingbird actions that lead to pollination? Look back in the text to support your thinking. Pause the video. Let's talk about the text. What are the hummingbird actions that lead to pollination? When you speak, you may use the sentence, the hummingbird actions that lead to pollination are, so with a family member, a friend, or by yourself, talk about the question, what are the hummingbird actions that lead to pollination? Pause the video. Let's write about it. Using your journal, the text, and your notes from previous days, write and draw about the first hummingbird action that leads to pollination. Share this with a teacher, family member, or friend when you're done. That's all for today. Have a great day, second grade.